What's up everyone? We're back with another tutorial in Cubase Elements 8. If you do the same thing every time you produce something in Cubase or something similar, uh, and you find that the click fest that is doing routing and managing your tracks is slowing you down, uh, it might help you to have a template track. And so today I'll be setting up a simple template, something that I would use. Your needs may be different, but you'll get the general idea. So let's just dive right in. The first thing I'd like in my template is a marker track so I can move around the project with greater ease. So I add a marker track by right clicking, add marker track. Uh, and then the next thing I'll do is this little slash here in the corner says divide track list. It's a nice useful feature. We divide the track list and the markers stay at the top regardless of how many tracks or channels we're looking at at one time. The next thing we need to decide is what is our routing going to be like? And for me, I usually route in four groups. Sometimes I'll separate the bass, but for this purpose, we'll just do four groups to make it easy. I have drums, I have guitars, I have vocals, and I have VST instruments. So with, those, with that in mind, I'll add four folder tracks for those individual channels. So we'll add a folder track, right click, add folder track. You can do it from here too. Add folder track, add folder track. And we will call these what I just said, drums, guitars, vocals, and VST eyes. Now we need to do color coding, it really does help. So the easiest way I've found to do it, and you can't actually use Q-Link, which is unfortunate, you have to do it one by one. So I'll make the drums yellow, I will make the guitars red, Use some nice primary colors, the vocals uh, blue, and VST eyes, make them hot pink. That looks good. So these will be the four tracks, and they will route to their individual buses on the mix. So without any further ado, let's just create those groups now, and then we'll be able to remember to route to them. So we will add group channel. We will do four and we'll do it in stereo and no track name because we'll have to rename them anyway. So we'll have a drum bus. We will have a guitar bus. We will have a vocal bus and we will have a VSTI bus. I kind of like to make these a different color too just to keep it away from the default. So we'll choose green. Great, they're all green. So we roll that up. Now that we have our group tracks in place, we can start adding individual channel tracks. So in the drums, and unfortunately I think that it might not be, we'll add two instances of Groove Agent SE. And they will pop up like that, but uh, that's fine. You can just close them when they do drums. Groove Agent SE. Add. So they're there, but they're not actually in the folder, so you have to drag them in. I don't know how to automatically get them to add to the folder. And we'll give them that nice yellow color so that we keep them. This can be kit one, and this can be kit two, or percussion, or whatever you plan on using it for. I just like to A-B kits and with Acoustic Agent it's easier just to have two instances fired up. So we can go to our mix panel by hitting F3 and we'll see our mix panel and we want to route these drums to uh, our drum bus. So we select them both and we hit this Q-Link button and for routing we want to route them to groups drum. That's great. And before I forget, I notice I have my four buses. I want a submix bus. It just uh, helps immensely. So we'll open up our group tracks folder. We'll add a track, uh, group channel, stereo, and we'll call it the mix bus. Add. And I'd like to make this one a different color so I know that it's not a 
Let's try this orange. I like that. And so back in our mix window, we want to route our buses to the mix bus, which then routes to stereo out. Uh, it's just, I guess we can do it using Q-Link. So we select all of these, and the routing goes to the mix bus. So the kits will go to the drums, the drums will go to the mix bus, the mix bus will go to stereo out. That's basically how routing works. Now if there's any effects that you like to put on your kits every single time, now would be the time to add them. Uh, for me, I just kind of like to play it as it lays, so we'll just leave that fine. We'll roll up everything in our group tracks. We'll roll up our drums because two kits is fine. Now let's focus on guitars. I want to add two acoustic tracks. So that'll be two. Those will be mono tracks. I record my acoustics in mono. If you record them in stereo, by all means make them stereo tracks. So we add acoustic one, acoustic two. And we remember you have to roll those up into the folder. And I want to make those the same color so everything is nice and neat. And let's add all the guitars first. So we go back here, we add a track. I want to add four electric tracks. So add audio track, mono, count four. The name will be electric rhythm. There they are. Uh, the first two will be electric rhythm one and two. I want this one to be a DI track in case you need to reamp or uh, use a modeler or something like that. It's nice to have a DI. So we'll have these four tracks in the guitar bus. And now we need to do our clicky clicky changey colory which is a little tedious, but trust me, it helps. Cool. And then I'll have a couple lead tracks for doing overdubs and stuff. So let's add track, audio, let's just do two electric lead. Add track, we roll those up in here, and we do our clicky clicky changey changey. Okay, now let's go back to the mixer and route those. So, we can kill our drums, we don't need to look at those. We want to select all of our guitar tracks. Oh, I forgot one thing. You can put the bass on the guitar bus, sometimes it's better for it to have its own bus, but what are you going to do, right? So, bass. Add track. Um, cool. And we'll make that the right color. So now we're good. So let's go to our Q link again. Make sure it's selected. Take a look at the routing. So we want all of these to go to the guitar bus. And with that, they all change. Now, my DIs, I like to record them in my right stereo in output. So I take off Q link uh, and just select the ones that are DI. And typically, I'll record bass DI. So, uh, on a two-channel interface, all the lefts will be my mic'd stuff, and all the DI stuff will be right, where I'll go straight into a high z instrument input uh, direct box type thing. So, I have the input routing set up and the output routing set up to the guitar bus, and that takes care of guitars. So, let's move on to vocals. Uh, we'll roll this up, vocals. We'll add three tracks, I believe. Um, three mono tracks. And we'll call these the lead vocals. And this is just for my own purposes. I like to record two takes and then comp them together. Now there is no comping in Cubase Elements 8, but you can do it by just doing a couple tracks. So this will be lead vocals one, two, and then this will be the comp, where I comp the best parts of both takes together. We'll make these that blue color so we don't get confused. And since the comp will end up being the lead vocal, um, that'll be the only one we have to apply effects to that we usually use. 
So, but before we get ahead of ourselves, let's add the backup vocals. Audio, I'll do four backup tracks. Here, and we'll call them backups. And we'll roll those into the right folder. And I like to make the backups a slightly different color of blue, just so I can tell the difference between leads and backups. There we go. All right, so I know that I'm going to record two lead vocals and then throw them into the comp. I'm going to comp them together uh, on my comp channel. So what I will do is route all these to the vocal channel just in case I end up using them. So we can hide our guitar bus, or our guitar channels, put on Q-Link, take all of our vocals, and route them to the vocal bus. There we go. And take our comp, turn off Q-Link. I always EQ, so we'll just use the Cubase EQ. And then I use compression, but VST Dynamics allows you to have a gate compressor and limiter. So I'm gonna add that anyway, so why don't I just put it in the template? Um, and this is a good time to think about sends. So I like to send my vocals to a reverb bus most of the time. So now I can add a reverb bus. Uh, we can take these off too. So it's just a one click thing to set up your EQ and compression on your vocals. So we can add right here from the mix channel an effects channel. And that'll be a reverb effect. And I'll just use the included with Cubase Roomworks SE, add it. There it is. And our sends with Q-Link back on, we'll send every single vocal. Ah, let's not send the takes. So we'll send all those to the reverb bus. And they can be off, you turn them on and whatever, but they're there and the routing is already there. So you have all of your vocals going into the reverb effects channel and you have all of your vocals routing into the vocal bus, which is routing into the mix bus, which is routing into stereo out. There we go. So we've come a long way and we just have VSTIs uh, left to do. So we can create a couple of instrument tracks. So I'll just do two instances of Haley on Sonic. Um, synth. Haley on Sonic. We'll call this Haley on One. And I mean, you may have more intensive VSTI needs. But this is just an example. Call this Halion 2. And I like to have, and then we roll these up and change the color to that lovely hot pink I've chosen. And if there's an instrument you use, you can have it load um, before you save the template. So like let's say I wanted you know, the piano to load. I'll just choose piano and I just want the acoustic grand or whatever so that when I start my project I have a piano ready you can load that in bus one or whatever if you're gonna use something every time and now we just need to route so we hit F3 bring up our mixer we can kill the vocals and the Q link is on so we select both of these And we route those to VSTIs. And we're good to go. This is basically the template that you could use. Um, you have your marker track, your drums, your VSTIs, and it all folds up into a neat little package like this. So you're ready to record your guitars, you're ready to record your vocals, you're ready to record your VSTs or your drums. And they're all color coded and everything is wrapped up into a folder and it's all bussed in the mix bus to four stems and then into your mix bus and then into stereo out. I'll show you for the purpose of providing completeness in this tutorial what it looks like. So once you have this set up, 
you can file save as template and we'll call this template tutorial and okay and we can close out of Cubase I say don't save and we have a template tutorial there it is and more you can actually switch it to any of these um, you can create it I have the template folder here and so it'll load up every time with the template loaded and you can start a new project so that's how you create a template and do bus routing a little bit in Cubase. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching everyone and have a wonderful day. Bye.